Phlebotomy, Lesson 1.2, Phlebotomy Professionals. Phlebotomy technicians are trained healthcare professionals that obtain blood and other specimens and transport them to the lab. Phlebotomy, literally translated from Latin as a surgical opening in the vein, is a physical process of collecting blood for laboratory analysis. Another term for this procedure is venipuncture. However, phlebotomists do much more than this in most clinical settings. Phlebotomists may be responsible for filling out requisitions, for obtaining other body fluids for cultures, for assisting laboratory personnel with routine tasks, and for interacting with patients and families in a professional manner. Phlebotomists can work in a variety of settings, hospitals, outpatient labs, physicians' offices, nursing homes, home health companies, and insurance companies all routinely hire phlebotomists. The specific tasks you will be responsible for will depend on the setting you are working in. This course is designed to teach you the fundamental basics of venipuncture, tube selection, specimen handling, dermal punctures, and special procedures in preparation to take the National Certification Exam for Phlebotomy. The phlebotomist is a well-respected member of the healthcare team and must conduct themselves at all times in a professional manner. Honesty, dependability, integrity, compassion, and good moral conduct must be displayed by the phlebotomist, as well as developing good interpersonal skills and maintaining a professional appearance. You will be interacting with all types of people from all walks of life who may not necessarily share your values and ideals. You must maintain a professional attitude regardless of how you feel personally. Ethical behavior is an integral part of being a respected member of the healthcare team. Ethical behavior can be described as doing the right thing all the time, even when no one is looking. This is especially important in phlebotomy. Making a mistake and ignoring it can have deadly consequences to your patient. A code of ethics is a term describing the standards, personal and professional rules, that all phlebotomists are expected to conform to. Phlebotomists are responsible for remaining professional in all patient interactions. Professionalism is the skill, competence, and character expected of an individual in a trained profession and concerns four aspects of professionalism, respect, service, support, and growth. Health profession organizations have developed standards of ethical conduct and behavior for members, including do not harm anyone intentionally, perform duties according to sound technical ability and good judgment, and respecting patients' rights. Professional and ethical conduct includes showing sincerity and compassion, emotional stability and maturity, having an accountability for doing things right, a dedication to high standards, respect for patients' rights, dignity, confidentiality, and privacy. In addition, a propensity for cleanliness, pride, satisfaction, and self-fulfillment, the ability to work with team members, and taking pleasure in communicating with patients are all important qualities of professional conduct. A self-assessment. Do I pay attention to details? Do I like to work with small objects? Do I follow procedures exactly? Does it bother me to be closely watched? Do I mind seeing blood and other body fluids, sick patients, or unpleasant odors? How do I handle working with needles? What is my reaction to inflicting the pain of a needle stick on someone? Am I willing to admit to my own mistakes? Do I like working with a team? Do I get along well with others? Am I willing to stand for long periods of time? And am I willing to work on holidays and weekends? These are all important questions that anyone entering the medical field should take a moment to analyze. Standing for long periods of time is expected. Standing up straight conveys a sense of confidence and pride in your performance. 
Good posture will help minimize the healthcare worker's back and neck strain. Phlebotomists must work in close proximity to patients. Appearance communicates a commitment to cleanliness and infection control. Neatly combed hair, clean fingernails, a clean, neat, pressed uniform without blood stains, and use of proper protective equipment is essential in earning your patient's trust and confidence in your skills. Do you have what it takes? If you're satisfied that you have what it takes to become a professional phlebotomist, then proceed to Lesson 1.3.